Okay everyone, so I just want to test out my RTX 3060 LHR V1 card on the new MB Miner 39.7. Alright, so this card is a Gigabyte RTX 3060 uh, Gaming uh, OC12G. Alright, so we're gonna test out how much uh, my hash we can get with the MB Miner without the dummy plug and this uh, driver just for fun see how much we can get okay so let's do this okay so we're just gonna go and download mb miner i'm just gonna go to google i'm gonna search for nb miner github i'm gonna go to releases so we got this one turn on LHR mode by default for 3060 v1. So this is the one that I have. All right So we're gonna test this out We're gonna go down to this one vin.zip. We're gonna download it. We're gonna open in folder We're gonna right click. We're gonna extract this with 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip just uh, google it install it Like so Now I will drag this MB miner to the desktop we're gonna open it up. We're just gonna do some config. We're gonna click on edit. I'm just gonna go to Ethermine. Uh, you can use any other pool if you like. I'm gonna go to start mining and I'm gonna use this server. Okay. And I'm gonna use uh, Stratman port uh, 4444, but you can use uh, this one if you are in Asia, or maybe this one. Go back to the bat file, and we're gonna paste the information right here. Server, and I'm gonna use 4444, and for the wallet address, you can just paste your uh, wallet address, uh, Ethereum wallet address. If you don't have one, you find the link in the description for a hardware wallet, uh, Ledger Nano X, if you want a more secure storage of your cryptocurrency. All right. A disclaimer, this one is an affiliate link, that means I will get a small commission if you buy through my link. But this will also help me uh, make these videos on YouTube. So just paste your wallet address right here, and after that we're gonna name this to whatever you like. I'm gonna name this to Mars. We're gonna exit this one, click on save, and let's start the miner and see how much we will get. So I'm using MSI Afterburner. If you don't have it, you can just uh, Google MSI Afterburner and install it. So we need to allow access for the NB miner, like so. So let's see how much we will get uh, without any overclocking settings. So I will uh, stop the recorder so we can get correct values. So we have uh, LHR lock detected and right now we have 26 uh, mag hash per second. So we got uh, continue mining at LHR equal 73.5. Okay, so without any overclocking settings we get about 30 plus mag hash per second when mining with uh, ETash and mining for ethereum all right so let's go and add some overclocking settings that i have found online and also disclaimer you overclock your gpu at your own risk yes so you know okay so the overclocking settings i'm gonna add in msi afterburner is core clock minus 502 memory clock we're gonna add 1284 for power limit i'm just gonna add 65 percent and for fan speed, I'm gonna add 75%, like so. After that, let's go and hit enter, and we're gonna see how much I can get with the NB miner 39.7. So let's uh, start up the miner one more time. Let's go and click on start underscore ETH. And let's go and see how much we can get with these settings. Okay everyone, so I've been running this for an hour now and I have a 36.5 as a stable hash rate. I got uh, accepted uh, shares, 18. 
uh, no rejection the power consumption is 110 C temp 60 and we have the performance efficiency of 333 okay okay everyone so comment below your own results and if you like you can join our discord server if you need any help with mining problems and things like that you find the link in the description have an awesome day take care and bye